Or is it wag you again for breakfast, Raymond? Aren't you going to introduce me to your mysterious and slightly menacing friend? What's that for? Is that for my money? <laughs> Where's my money, Raymond? There's your payment. Go on, take a look. Thank you, mysterious stranger. Well, that's disappointing, because that doesn't look like 20 million pounds. It's more interesting than that. Your insurance policy, all the photos, all the bodies, all the skeletons, all the filth. It's not the only one, darling. I'm not a mong. What you think's in that, you fucking eager? Of course we're aware of what Matthew was up to. We're not complete fucking idiots. I've been on to you for a long time, Fletcher. I knew you'd been following Michael. They're very similar, our jobs. Only I'm better at it than you are. I knew when you came over that night that you'd only be there for half an hour. Buenos tardes, Raimundo. To tell me how clever you are and try to blackmail us. I've got some very important information to impart to you, Raymond. I also knew you couldn't resist a 1,500-pound single malt or an 80-pound Wagyu steak in a state-of-the-art smokeless barbie that even keeps your feet warm. I love a barbie. I promise you, you will regret this if you don't hear it. And when the scotch got into your cold veins, you lost the benefit of your sharp instincts. Oh, goody. Another bottle. <laughs> Can you tell the mysterious gentleman to relax? Because I promise you, you will regret it if you don't hear this. Yeah, Sit down, dear. my love. See, I kept you there, because I needed to know about Matthew and Dry Eye. It took us a while to find your insurance policies. Because you're a naughty squirrel, Fletcher. Fletcher, shoes off inside. Yes, Mummy. But it was made a lot easier after I planted a tracker in your shoe. You're never gonna be a predator with us, Fletcher. You're always gonna be prey.